Beat down the block. Best thing I got. Okay, guys, so I have one dot. Wow. I did the wrong eye. Okay, it's whatever. I guess we can just still make this work. It might just be a tad bit harder because I'm used to like going like this instead of like this. Oh, I thought I broke something. Okay, so I don't remember what shadows I used, so we're just going to wing it like my eyeliner. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go with the flow, but yeah, it's like, um, a neutral, like, brown, kind of like, um, half cut crease, a soft ha half cut crease, like the beauty gurus say. I know my allergies are major, but that's okay. The haters will hate my mom. <laughs> she says that every single time I bring it up in my video, she talk she's talking about haters. So I did that on purpose, so I hope she's watching this. Um, anyways, the first color I'm going to go in with is the Modern Renaissance palette. I've been using this palette way more. When I first got it, I liked it. Not really, kind of. But I, I actually think I'm really liking this palette. I didn't get it but too long ago. I know it came out like a year or so ago. More than that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I actually do like this palette a lot. Now, I've been using it more. I don't know. I just don't think I ever gave it a chance. As soon as I got this palette, every other palette that I own just was not being used so i'm trying to like not just use this palette even though i'm gonna use this palette but it's fine anyways enough blabbing um i'm gonna go in with the shade raw sienna right here and i'm taking the morphe m441 blending brush y'all know i'm obsessed with this brush so yeah i'm gonna <laughs> hey can you see it i'm gonna take it above my crease once again because i am doing a half cut crease i'm gonna just take it above i kind of think i did this eye look like a little bit too high but you know again the haters will hate um so it doesn't matter i already like primed and set my eyelids so don't be scared i already did it if you couldn't tell because it looked like i already did it to me it looked like i already did it. i don't know so yeah so i'm just going to blend that in until i feel like it is blended enough okay so the next color I went in with is from the dare to create palette which I was just watching Laura Lee's video and she said this palette isn't like being sold anymore I know it was like limited time or limited I don't know edition whatever um so if you don't have this palette then I'm sure there's many more brown colors exactly like this that I'm about to use um so I'm going to take this top brown color here and I'm going to take a Morphe M44 m433 blending brush i'm just gonna take that on there i have two of these blending brushes i know james charles says he has 26 of them okay that's excessive and then i'm just gonna go lower like in my crease and just blend that out it's a really light shade so i don't want to go in like too dark in my crease right away i'm just gonna keep like building and blending until it looks like this eye yeah at first when i first used this brush i actually didn't like it but i think i'm starting to like it now um it's i don't know it's weird to me i don't know if i'm the only one probably am but that's okay um so yeah i'm just going to blend that okay and so i don't really remember what happened next as i do in all of my life um but i know i use I really don't remember. Is it looking even the same? I think it looks the same, kind of. I know I use this color right here, but I can't remember if I use this color too. Anyways, we're just gonna go in with this color on my other M433 brush. This is the first one I ever owned. I can tell because it's like ruined. <laughs> and yes, I still have like other 
eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to take this on the outer part of my eye and blend her. And I, I know I packed this one on. I don't know. I don't know. This is why I usually do both eyes at the same time. But now I like to like pre-plan pre my eye looks for whatever reason it is. Because I always get on camera and I'm like, what am I going to do? You know? It's a surprise, but whatever. Why does it not look the same? This one looks more patchy to be honest and this one looks like more smooth. But I th think I know why this one looks more patchy. But maybe I did use this color. Who freaking knows? I don't know. Let's just go in with it. Yeah, I think I did use it. I don't know. So I'm going to use that color that was next to the color just to use. I act like I actually see what I'm doing. This one right here. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'm going to clean that part up. Just saying. Because I hate, hate that. Okay, so now, um... I'm going to do my cut crease, which I have done so many times on my channel by now. Um, but again, I'm going to show it to you guys again. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Deep, which I feel like this is not like really a concealer shade for me. I feel like it's darker than my skin. No, it's lighter, it's lighter, it's lighter. Yeah, that would not be a foundation color on me. I guess it just looks dark. I don't know. I don't know. Don't judge me. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I've showed you guys this technique in my Valentine's Day tutorial. But if you didn't see it, link will be in the description box. But I'm going to show you again. Um, where I just put the concealer and then I just look up. Okay, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> LOL. I didn't go as planned either. It's okay. We're going to get through it. See how I'm not freaking out even though I probably should be, but I'm not going to because I'm a trooper. So, yeah. By this time, I know that I can just blend that out. <laughs> and, you know, I don't really have to worry too much. It comes out horrible. But anyways, it's okay. It's it's all about trying. It's the effort that you put into it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay. Because I'm a positive person. That's a lie. But I just know it's going to be okay. So yeah. You're welcome. I'm going to set that. I'm going to go in with the 39A palette again. Y'all can understand how much I absolutely love this palette. This palette is so good. I'm going to set it with that eyeshadow that I just showed you. Okay, so Victor interrupted my video, and if you're watching this, Victor, anyways, so I already kind of started, like, blending it out, but anyways, I'm just going to take the Morphe M441 brush, and I'm just going to take Raw Sienna from the Anastasia palette, and since it's the lightest, I'm just going to go over it until I feel like I've fixed, like, the part that I messed up. I'm just going to go over it like that, and since it is a soft cut crease, like, I don't want, I don't really care for it to show that it's, like, an actual cut crease, you know what I mean? Like, if it was an actual cut crease, like, my Valentine's Day one, which I will link in the description box below. Because you can wear that, like, any single time of the year. So, whatever. Um, so, I'll link it in the description box. If I wanted to be like that, then I'd probably have to redo it. Um, but since I don't, it doesn't matter. But still, I would have found a way to fix it anyways if I didn't mess it up in that video. So, yeah. So, anyway, So, yeah, I'm just going to blend everything. And plus, my next step was to blend anyhow, so just doing my next step, basically. Just because, like, I just want everything to look seamless. So now I'm going to go in with my M433 brush, <sighs> this first one I use, and I'm going to take um, this brown color, can you see that? This brown color right here, I'm just going to blend this outer part of the crease going to blend it so it looks like the other one because 
is a half cooker so I don't want it to be like too far so you can't even see me can you see me can you see me I don't know what I'm doing okay so now I'm going to do my eyeliner okay, I'm gonna make sure this is blended I feel like it's not as blended as the other one my eyeliner and um I really want to do like a sparkle eyeliner but this eyeliner came out so thick and I just don't know how that would look like with sparkles because usually when people do sparkle eyeliner it's like a cute little thin kind of little liner and I just it takes a long time to do a glitter liner trust me it's it's not the quickest task in the world and I'm lazy so whatever the haters will say I'm lazy I just said I was lazy but anyways um I did a really thick line which I did not mean to do but um if you want to know how to do your line eyeliner I have an eyeliner tutorial I will link in the description box but um seriously like all you have to do is like follow this shape of your eye like from the bottom to the top and it'll be your eyeliner that looks good on you so yeah I'm gonna um I'm actually gonna pop off and do like literally the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back on and do the Laura Lash line. But for lashes, I'm just using um, Intoxicating by Flutter Lash. I cut the ends of it because in my um, Valentine's Day one, they were just like a little bit too long. So I just cut like the um, end part of it, not the um, the inner part of it, um, to so it could fit my eye shape better. So yeah, so I'm gonna pop off the camera and I'll be like full glam and then I'll do the under the under eye on camera be back i know you'll miss me. okay so i know i said that i was going you know to come back on camera after all my makeup was done but i lied just for a second i just want to tell you guys that this primer right here is amazing i i've tried the normal one before and i liked it i feel like i just liked it because everybody else liked it and that's when i first started youtube but i didn't really care for it too much and that was the matte one but this one is so good i literally love it so much i think it makes my foundation look so i don't know like it just makes it look so much better and yeah i just want to say that and oh and it's the poor professional pearl primer they have a matte matte one you can't see it because of the light yeah that this is a mini one because i wanted to try it out just to see if it was like the same you know i didn't want to waste my money on 32 dollar primer so i just got the small one because it's only 12 bucks um but i will get the big one like i know i will because i absolutely love this primer so much and if you haven't tried it you should try it so that's all i'll be back hey <coughs> okay guys so i'm back and my face is done my edges are laid um and now I'm going to do my bottom lash line. I have Victor on FaceTime, so if you can hear him, just ignore him, okay? Hi. Hi. I'm here to do my bottom lash line for you guys all, because I know you guys are dying to see it and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do for you because I'm nice so I'm gonna go in with the m433 brush um, and I'm going to go in with Rossi and I'm basically gonna do what I did on my lid on my bottom lash line um, so yeah and so I'm going to get as close to the edge as I possibly can because sometimes I feel like I go way too out from my lash line and it just looks like a hot mess yeah, I'm going to go under the whole lash. Hello. And then I'm going to take um, this color that I used on the same brush. Partially because I really don't feel like changing the brushes. And it's okay. Our colors are just going to get darker. So it doesn't really matter. I do the same thing. Again, trying to keep it as close to the lash line as I possibly can. And blend it out. This color I'm going to go in with is this color right here. Again, I'm doing the same exact thing on the top, on the bottom as I did on the top. And the darker it gets, the less I'm taking it more in. Because I don't really. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing because, like, I'm not a beauty girl, so therefore, 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, if you're not a beauty guru, you automatically don't know what you're doing. Okay, friends. Yay. And I'm going to put some bottom mascara on. The other day, I had my bottom lashes pop in. Like, they were outstanding. They were the best they've ever looked in ages. And, you know, I was really proud of myself, honestly. It really was. Okay. I'm going to stick to absolutely nothing. So, that is the completed look, my friends. Can You want me to be like a beauty girl? Did I do right? I would take out my weave. Oh yeah, I did. I got my hair done. Um, I never really like announce when like my hair is different because it's like always different, mostly every single other video. Um, but yeah, I got my hair braided and like I'm already thinking of what I'm gonna do next. I know I look hot. Um, I mean I always look hot, so like that doesn't change really. But like, yeah. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Um, and I will or probably won't see my next video. So, bye.